Hey everybody, how are you doing? So my name is Tiago, I am a painter and architect, and this video is about the painting I did of the evil stepsister of Cinderella. I will be integrating this one in my book when it's translated to English so that you can have the full experience. I also named her Estelle because there is no reference to her name in the original stories from the Brothers Grimm. So I hope that you enjoy this one. Now first, let's start with a fun fact about art. Did you know that Bob Ross helped a colorblind viewer to learn how to paint? Yes, he did a full painting in his tutorials in black and white, so that is what we call Grisale, to help the viewer learn how to paint. And that was very helpful because he didn't need any color in order to do his painting, and he could also learn about color values and color tones. Isn't that amazing? Okay, now let's go back to the painting that I did. So this one that is called Estelle is integrated in a series that I called Visions. And I called it Visions because it's just images that come into my mind, mostly of faces, and then my job is to translate them into the canvas. So that is why I have this full concept of faces against a black background so that it can contrast with the skin tones and make the painting pop up. Contrary to what the Disney movie made out of the stepsisters, they were actually beautiful and fair in the original German folk story. So I tried to make her as beautiful as possible and make her at the center of the canvas in a regal pose to show her personality, but also with fragility to show a little bit of her jealousy. Now I got inspired by the German folk tales and by the Brothers Grimm to make this with the most fantasy and folklore as possible. As a technique, as we were mentioning before about the black and white painting, the Grisel phase, the one that I told you about Bob Ross, well, I did the same. I started this painting in black and white by using simple oil paint that you can modulate into creating your volumes. And then the, after that was done and I had all the contrast that I wanted, I then went over it with glazes of color, now applying transparent layers of color so that you achieve that color richness that I needed for this painting, for example. The big red hair, the red skin tones, the yellowish light against that perfect black background. And that is how I achieved this painting. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, leave a like or a comment or whatever you want. And I'll see you on my next video.